Hey everybody, welcome. Great to see people already here and waiting. Hey JN, hey Brandon, hey Ginger, Amy. Lurking and working, it's the way to do it. Hey Scott's. Well, it's Fish Quest. Hey Zach, Because Your Fish, Mary Page, Anthony. Wow, thank you guys. Hopefully we'll get a few more people coming in. Um, while we're letting that happen, um, I've mentioned to you that I finally got a selfie stick. <laughs> and so the um, very first time I'm using it is right now. Uh, I hadn't uh, used it for any stream or any video or anything. So I'm actually just testing it out now. So, uh, so far I love it. So we'll see how it goes. Hey, Aqua Balls, Dan Slee. Hey, Dylan, Veteran Aquatics. Tampa Tom, awesome. Ethan's Aquatic. I loosely made a agenda or topic to kind of look at some of the tanks. Uh, of course, that's strictly depending on what anyone wants to look at and talk about, but uh, I titled the stream uh, Back to the Tanks, I believe, like a takeoff on Back to the Future, but not so sure there's a close enough uh, similarity there for that to catch, but uh, that's what it's about. Um, and just kind of visit the tanks, uh, maybe three, two, however much time we have and how much deep we want to get into each tank and the fish and setups and all that. Uh, and I thought we might do that for the next couple of weeks, so we'll see. Hey, Alex. Doug Gray, oh wow, I have hit the big time officially. Hey Streetwise, guys, we need to need to save this date and this time. And for those of you that don't, hey Melvin, wonderful to have you here. Hey Vinoski, um, Doug Gray is quite the celebrity, and I'm not being uh, silly quite the celebrity in the uh, guppy world and other fish, but specifically the guppy world. So if you're not familiar with Doug, check out his channel. Um, he has some awesome guppies. Chevy Fish, hello. Um, I also have a package from Pam that looks something like this. So if you want mine and her address, be quick or pause it. So it's quite a big package and it only has like three rolls of tape on it. So she's really curbed her desire to virtually embalm things that she sends <laughs> wrapped like a mummy. So I'll open that in a little bit and see what's in there. I think it's probably something for being a Patreon and we get a uh, quarterly um, art as well at that level. Seems like this is a little high to me. It's better. Things as long as an old fashioned uh, antenna. Dharma doesn't care for it, I can see right away because she can fly under it and not block. Hey Maria, what's for supper? <laughs> what's for dinner? I took my sister to Chattanooga today to um, a doctor's appointment 
um, she didn't like to drive down there. And uh, it's an excuse for me to go and do other things down there while we're there. So uh, the way that they were handling the COVID virus and all that was interesting. Um, but we had uh, Chinese, a Chinese buffet we like for lunch. And that was really interesting how they were handling it. It just shows there are many ways to handle a situation and still keep it um, clean and keep, you know, keep it uh, safe for everyone. Uh, but I'm having a, one of these kinds of coffees. Where is it right now? Which is a cold brew without ice. And uh, had some uh, trail mix. So got leftover pizza from the Ark Tuesday. Have a couple pieces of that later. So, hmm, how many people are here? 21. It's hard to see that. Um, hey, Dank, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I'd like to try out, I think this may be my third time ever. I've been on StreamYard lots of times, but as a guest on somebody else's stream or chat. And uh, I'd like to try it out today if somebody will volunteer later to come up for uh, a few minutes, just enough to, for, to check it out to see if I can do it, you know, if I wanted to, you know, have a guest on and plan on having a guest. And uh, at least I want to make sure I can do it. Seems pretty simple. Um, trying to remember who I was looking at um, that has their um, um, 1K uh, subscribers now, but they still need watch time. I think Brandon is one of those. Excuse me, is one of those. Um, so if you have a subscribe to Brandon. Um, he could use the hours. There's somebody else. Uh, it'll come to me in a minute. And um, I wanted to do a, a shout out or two as we go through uh, our hour. Um, I don't know if any of you are familiar with uh, Mark's Aquariums or Mark's Aquarium Care, I think is what it is. Um, he's a Canadian, Russian Canadian. Uh, a young fellow, probably 30, I don't know, uh, was a student, and uh, he got into the fish hobby, oh, I don't know, a year ago, but his um, channel's been very successful because of his content, and just a real nice fellow, and uh, uh, like a lot of people that I find like that, that I want to uh, support, uh, Dylan, uh, Dylan on here being one of them, Veteran Aquatics, He's just that kind of channel. He's, you know, somebody that uh, you really want to uh, have as your friend and to learn from. So um, he and I uh, were talking on the computer in comments the other day. And, oh, wow, that sounded so old. We were talking in comments on one of my vids, and uh, he asked if we would want to shout each other out. I said, I'd be glad to, be glad to. Um, they're sending me pictures of a couple of new dogs from the ark. And I just remember I have Chinese food on me. I brought a snack tonight. <laughs> I have uh, Chinese food, but a couple of the new dogs that I took in yesterday are ready today to pick up at the vet. And that's where I just came from. So they're sending me cute pictures and videos of them right now. If you hear a dingy ding. Um, but yeah, um, and I don't know how to go get the link and post that. Um, let's see, do we have a mod here? I'm not sure if we do. I don't think so. And by the way, we were talking last week about um, maybe moving the time of the stream back. And so I did have a short conversation with Brandon that does the fish tubers notifications page and schedule and a uh, couple of ideals, a couple of suggestions. Uh, it seems like uh, I'd like to keep this time. I don't want to give this time up yet, and I only do the one day a week. So um, um, 
is it showing JN as a mod? See, it doesn't show me who's a mod. Let's see, that's bad because I can't tell. Candy and Zen and Sandy and Anthony and Recon. But I do think JN is. It just doesn't show me. Okay. If you don't mind, JN, if you will post uh, Mark's link, it's Mark's Aquarium Care or something like that. Sorry, I should have written it down. If anyone is a mod, silence Bob Cutter for 10 minutes. Let's see if that works. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you, Jesse. Um, so yeah, there are a couple of days and times. I want to keep this one. Maybe there's a possibility of uh, adding Saturday, and I think that time is about nine o'clock. Uh, the problem with this time is that so many people are just getting off work or are just getting home or they're still at work. Most people are still at work if they get off at five. And a lot of people have gone back to work recently, you know, with uh, some restrictions changing and all that. So uh, we're seeing that happen. There's Sandy there. So Sandy's either off today or off early or, or sneaking on the job and being on, but yeah. So there's another mod, there's Sandy. So we're just talking about uh, what day to add Sandy. Um, the nine o'clock Tuesday slot is also open. Um, was, who was that? That was um, Mike's slot, I believe. Oh, bless your heart. Called in sick. And there's Pam. Um, I was going to mention also with P Pam's unboxing and wrapping. Um, that uh, she's uh, given notice that she's canceled her stream and auction tonight. Um, so I just want to make sure everybody knew that. And uh, she's going to have it Saturday instead. So we won't have Pam tonight. Uh, but we will have Rob93. And we'll have uh, Stephen Conroe. And um, Jay Wilson. And have Dan, of course. Dan's fish and I'm really excited to see Dan's stream because he did get in that Indonesian shipment tons and tons and tons of fish so which mark channel it is yeah it might be Mark's fish care or something sorry I should have had it memorized I just get notifications when he does a bid so I don't have to remember it see Thank you for looking, Jesse. Yep, Saturday night this week. Yeah, well, I don't want to, part of that, Zach, is that I really don't want to, uh, at all costs, I want to avoid, in other words, if somebody big, <laughs> I'm not big, but if somebody, uh, especially somebody big, you know, decided they wanted to go at six o'clock, I'd be now like, wait a minute, I've been doing this six months or three months or whatever, you know, and half of you guys wanted to go over there because it's somebody you follow too. Um, there's Mark's channel. Thank you, Sandy. Um, so I don't want to do that to anybody else. But also, I don't want to move uh, my stream or to start streaming on the day that will give me competition. In other words, I'm not going to go while Corey's streaming. That would be the funniest thing in the world, you know. Uh, I'm not going to go while Dan's streaming. I mean, what would be the point, you know. Um, so I need, that's the other thing to look at. Like, what are you getting yourself into? So 
looking at it and thinking about it and definitely going to add a second day and a second time and see what works out best and possibly uh, keep them both or some people stream two or three or four times a week uh, and some people are on different channels you know so uh, there are all kinds of combinations and ways to do that um, so we'll see how it goes but yeah stay tuned for that but i will still be here on wednesdays uh i am done with mondays at nine you all are still watching steam fonts so you're not going to do the nine that's right that was your or is your time uh brandon oh sorry brandon was telling me um no it was tuesday at nine not monday Yeah, Bob is looking at his channel, too, and, and the stream Monday night he was talking about um, trying to grow the stream and get new viewers, not necessarily subscribers, but attract some new viewers and grow the stream. And that's that's what I'd like to do, too. And to do that, I would like the people that started out with me uh, maybe have had to go back to work now or their schedules changed or they've gone back on their old schedule, you know. Your first video in four months. He did it on purpose, that. <laughs> he did it on purpose. No, I'm teasing. Uh, oh, somebody said Mandy is in here. I need to be watching the stream more. Oh, Mandy Boyd. Hey, Mandy. Yeah, that is bad luck. That, that even sucks. Sitting here looking at the rainbows in front of me, and I see one's got some tail issue. Uh, maybe some fin rot that I hadn't seen, so I'm glad I sat here long enough to notice that. Get some medicine going on that. Hey, Mandy. But let's go ahead and open this box. Um, it's a box of sorts from Pam. Dharma, get off of it and see what we have. And I, I don't think you'll be upset not seeing me cut the tape off of it. It's cardboard. It's been cut to fit some artwork. And I'm cutting the tape off. I think it would overwhelm me to try and work this new selfie stick thing. Oh, this may be one of the easiest ones Pam has ever done. I may be able just to pull this right out. Oh, my, I can't believe it. Can you guys believe that? Those of you that have seen me, meanwhile, next week or three hours later, trying to open, look at this. It just slides out. And there's the card she told me not to finish. It's taped on there, good. <laughs> oh, habit style. But it's actually a box. It's cool. So, I'll wait and open that card in a minute. And here's the main piece. Oh my gosh, you're only going to die when you see this. Oh, damn. It's signed and numbered. It's number 28 of 50. And that's definitely getting framed. What about them apples? Look at all the detail in that. Sorry. I don't want to take it out of the plastic especially sitting here drinking Starbucks coffee. And I bet at least half of you are thinking, could I get that, that piece of wood in my 40 breeder? That was the first thing I thought. But look at the detail, guys. That's awesome. Thank you, Pam. I love that. 
think this is one of the nicest, if not the nicest, that I've got from you. It's just amazing. Just amazing. Yep. And now she's making us wait till Saturday to see and get more art. Uh, sorry, I'll look at it later, but <laughs> I'm really wanting to look at it. I can't tell what he's in front of, the bear's in front of. It looks like it's a stone fence. Like he might be in an old barn or something, Pam. Hey, Lori. Hey, because you're fish. You guys want to get some of this art? Uh, check out Pam's Patreon site. And uh, I think it's only one dollar per month to be uh, to have uh, first say about her new art. She does the little artist cards, and uh, she gives a lot of those away on her stream too, by the way. And, and then occasionally she'll have an auction and charge. In my opinion, she should be charging for all of them or most of them. But she does want love to give her art away too. But, yeah, if you want to be her Patreon, you can get this art. Oh, boy, oh, boy. How cool. I think I won this. I either won it um, in a drawing on her channel or I bought it. I can't remember which. But either way, I really love her birds, and I have more birds than anything. Uh, what started it was the, um, oh, right out of my head, not eagle. I think it's osprey. Yep, I have that one framed. I have a sparrow framed. I want it, Pam. Sweet. Even sweeter. And that's on her late night stream uh, Wednesdays. It's at 11 Eastern, but she's not having it tonight. And then it's got a card in here. She always puts a card in. All right. And that was awesome. Got a couple of her other cards here. I like to keep them here on the desk because they come uh, protected like this. That's Nelson, my blue tongue skink. When he was a little boy, he's about twice that big now. He's fast growing. He or she. That's Nelson. Um, and also, she does a lot of um, buffalo. And I love those too. There's not anything she does I don't like, but. Those are some of my favorite birds and her buffaloes and her bears. I think that's three bears I have now. So I've got more here, but I won't bore you with my art. <laughs> um, all right. Do you guys want to look at uh, my one year old granddaughter? She keeps me hopping. Hey, Kenny, welcome. Just saw you. Just saw you there. Who else am I missing? Doug Gray's bummed out about something. Copyright issues. Uh-oh. The feds after you, Pam. Oh, uh, well, Marvin Martian.
and Slay. Trying to get to the bottom of the chat. You guys know how that is. There we go. Candy's here. Hey, Candy. I see people saying hello to her. Megan. Well, when we're on the street, it's Candy's here, but I don't see her. I can't find her. Okay. All right. Don't worry about it, Mary Page. I hope things are, are better with your daughter and grandbaby. Oh, are you asking me? Zach, what my favorite food is to keep them extra red. I honestly don't feed, and I'm very careful not to feed anything that has color enhancers in it. So none of my fish have, are eating, or have a, anything that has dyes, or it's just plain brown gray food when it comes out. Um, now, occasionally, I will add maybe once a month some uh, vitamins and probiotics in liquid form. I forget the brand of that, but it really does help enhance their color. Well, I give up. I can't see Candy. I see people saying hello, but I cannot see her. Maybe this is on a... Uh, Thank you, Sandy. Maybe it's on a uh, top chat, but I don't think you can even have that on on uh, whatever I'm on, StreamYard. I just... Um, to me, it's kind of, and don't get me wrong, I have platinum parrots, I have hybrid fish, I have glow betas, uh, not under black lights, but, but I just wanted glow betas because they exist. I've spawned the glow betas um, with other betas. So I'm not a uh, goody two shoes or, or something like that, but I, when it comes to their food, I just feel like that that's a big responsibility, uh, as big as their water um, parameters and um, affects them as much, if not more. And I just, I just don't feel comfortable. Uh, I'm that way with myself. I try not to eat anything that has dyes or artificial, and that's tough, as you, as you know. Um, so I think they're just as pretty without. Um, any color enhancers, so. And you got to admit, those are some colorful fish over there. I vary their diet. Talking about. Oh. Uh, no, and we won't give up our prayers and thoughts either. So there's an update for me, Paige. I won't give up. I saw Ginger Graves, who was working and lurking, demand to see puffers. So if we have to get up, we'll make a stop there with those guys. Um, is there any tank that anybody wants to see? Jesse Seconds, Creel and Artemius, Natural Hansers of Ray Carl. Um, it's natural, though. That's the difference. It's natural. I thought you meant things that had dyes and uh, were um, artificial enhancers. Oh, yeah. I feed Creel 
every day to some of the fish with other foods. Uh, but yeah, some of the fish like the uh, the big orange, where do you go, squirrel fish right there on my shoulder. He eats four or five jumbo krill, krill every day and would eat more if I gave it to him. But he also has um, other things. Everybody gets four different different very different kinds of food um, every day so oh did you sandy oh. my severums get flakes they get pellets uh, floating and sinking they get wafers uh, they get spirulina they get uh, brian shrimp they get mysa shrimp uh, and of course they're they can eat the um, Krill as well. I usually try to break them in two because those guys really love to stuff their cells to kind of share them around. But yep, I do. The marine tank. Well, I can talk about it a little bit. Um, let's see if I can move this. That's weird that it's, it's the opposite. It's like learning to back a boat down the ramp almost. <laughs> Remember how that was. Um, Yeah, they've been out for a while, Doug. Uh, there's been kind of, uh, not kind of, but a lot of controversy and live streams and videos and discussions. They've been out at least six months. Um, several people I know on in the fish fam got them. Uh, but I wanted them because there was so much controversy. But one of my males, I have two males in this uh, rainbow tank in front of me spawned and I have a video of that by the way too maybe two months ago with a koi plaquette beta uh, spawned uh, didn't get any didn't see any fry the rainbows dispatched the eggs as quick as the, the female released them but they went through the motions of it so Yeah, I love those, uh, Zach. What I really like about them is you can crumble them if you want to also. Yeah, she feeds that. Yeah, I've got a big uh, big container of those, like a half a gallon or something. Uh, it's like 20 bucks for one of those, but it's well worth it. As you know, buying food in bulk saves you a ton of money uh, in the end and very quickly too. Uh, back to that. There is, no, the clowns in there are, um, it'll come, it'll come to me. There are a lot of um, damsels in there. My favorites are the little yellow and pink ones. Uh, that are not schooling. Well, damsels typically don't school. They they show sometimes, but um, Talbots are the ones that I really like in there. And then there's the electric or the neon blues. Um, wow. Well, I wish I could remember what those, uh, those uh, clowns are, but I can't. Um, there is a natural glow light tetra called Chopra, C-H-O-P-R-A-E. It's one of the hard names I can spell, so I do every chance I can. And I have, I had 15, I think I have 12 left from Rachel O'Leary, and they're in one of my 40 breeder rainbow tanks. Um, but yeah, they are gorgeous, and they're the other size of uh, some of the other small Daniels, uh, but their coloration is just beautiful 
and they glow without even a, a black light. So, as he said, they're not GMO. Beautiful fish, and they're they're fairly uh, reasonably priced now. A couple years ago, in the hobby, you could pay ten dollars a fish, but you can get them now for three ninety nine, four ninety nine a fish, which is a great deal on those. The tadpoles, Jesse. Um, I haven't seen those uh, much lately. <laughs> All the eggs hatched, and if there are any tadpoles in there, they're hiding in the roots or the plants or the, the gravels or under the rocks. Uh, I think the convicts and the fur mouse dispatch them. Uh, I did add some more uh, aquatic uh, vegetation in there this morning, as a matter of fact, because uh, I wanted a little more shade on that tank as hot as it's been and I did a top off on water not a water change um, so the water that went in there was from the tub so I've kind of the whole premise I've corrupted that tank now by using some tap water probably put about a gallon in it I'm guessing that's Kenny is, is Kenny burning up or something Yeah, I'm definitely not getting all the all the comments. So it must be on it must be on um whatever. But you don't get all the Yeah, and George has uh had the glow spawn and has fry um, that are doing well. So those those are maroon clowns and I usually call them burgundy. <laughs> That's why I was having trouble with it. They're maroon clowns. But they do look like tomatoes this far away, don't they? I do have tomatoes in another tank, a 40 breeder that are uh, a bonded Hair. They've not spawned. Uh, there's a fox face in there, the yellow one. The squirrel fish is the common name. It's kind of weird how all the marine fish are named after other animals. I mean, virtually everything's named after something else. Uh, the yellow one toward the bottom is a wrasse. It's a yellow wrasse. There's a, a more technical name, but uh, and then the Queen Angel is in there, I hope. I don't see it right now, but it's in there. In the great big uh, neon red marine hermit crab. It's a mouthful. Hey, Anthony. Chris John. But as far as the tank itself, uh, Jesse, it's a 125 gallon. It's acrylic. And when I ordered it, that's what I ordered was a 125. But I didn't intend to get one quite that deep. I literally have to hang from the ceiling fan by the toes, sometimes the ankles, to switch it up uh, to get down to the bottom of that to clean it and to work with the very bottom. I've got long arms and I'm tall, but I just can't do it. Um, and you see there's a little bit <laughs> at the end there that I have the water test kit sitting on. There's about that much room at each end, about six inches. And that's because I wanted um, the 125 that was a little shorter, but six feet long. So this is a five foot long. Um, I think it's 28 inches tall. It's deep, which is okay, but that's really not what I intended to get. I just clicked the wrong button. So when the cabinet, uh, the stand was handmade uh, by my friend Zach, um, 
and it didn't fit when the tank came in. I went back and looked at my purchase order, and sure enough, I got what I ordered, not what I told Zach I was getting. But it's all good. It's fine. It's a, it's a nice tank. I love it. Uh, filtration, it's got the um, Tidal filters uh, on it. It's got 275s and then a 35 just to top it off to give it a little more beneficial bacteria. But of course, uh, people that keep salt know um, the simple fact that um, the beneficial bacteria is different, obviously, than it is for fresh. It's a different type of bacteria. But the stones, the porous stones, and all the sand and that kind of stuff, uh, even though I have no live plants in here right now, I've got some algae in there for sure. But uh, all of that provides a huge bank of uh, bacteria. So some people might look at this tank and say, wow, that's way overstocked, when actually it's well understocked for the amount of bacteria that I have in there and could continue to grow. So, what else? What else? What else? Those were live rocks we put in there. Um, and it is actual marine sand. I don't see the crab. One of my favorite fish in there is the hawkfish. It's the big orange, orange one that creeps around. But yeah, I find myself already needing a... Hey, uh, Chattanooga Ed. Thank you, Mary Page. I find myself already needing a um, another big tank, another large tank. And, um, and fresh water, of course. Um, but I have those pakus uh, that... I was delighted to find out that when I was researching them, I didn't research deep enough. I was just looking at general information, mostly for the black uh, pakus, which can get three feet long. They are huge. That's the one that uh, on Ohio Fish Rescue that he went and rescued that couldn't turn around in the tank. And she's their, kind of their mascot now, Betty, I think. Um, but anyway, Anthony, don't let... Um, Candy, no, you're driving and talking in the chat. Hey, Ro. Hey, Diego. Stop. Over here pulling on this package. You cats are driving me crazier. Can't think of much else to tell you about that tank. Of course, it's got a, a wave maker on it. Um, the intake spouts, you probably can make out that I do have the pre filter sponges on there, which also adds a lot of beneficial bacteria. So, thank you, Peter. Appreciate that. Another great channel. And also, Peter has guppies for sale, and he has some really nice guppies, so check them out. Peter, where would we go to see your guppies? I was going to ask you that in the stream the other day, because I can't get any guppies out of Doug Gray for some reason. Can't get anything out of him. It's too cold, and it's too hot. <laughs> If you guys haven't figured out, Doug and I kid each other all the time, uh, like some of you and I do. So Doug is a is a dear friend. So see, 96 degrees here. That's good shipping weather, Doug. They like that. Guppies like to get out of them cold tanks. It was only 80, 83, then 86 here. We noticed when we were driving in the truck today earlier. That's right, eBay and Aquabid under Peter Thiel. There you go, guys. Check it out. 
just 96. Yeah, we were about 10 degrees cooler than that, and we had a breeze. Ed, you ready for me to come by tomorrow and do your debut video for that fish room? You know they built the pyramids quicker than you've done that fish room, right? <laughs> Thank you, Rose. Aquatics and reptiles. See, I'm so tempted now that I have two reptiles to add that to my uh, CV. <laughs> Or my channel name, but I've changed my channel name twice over the last three years, so I have to go through all of that again. A dollar near. Oh, Peter coined a new term. Thank you, Ro. Yeah, that'll buy a mouse for sure. Sandy's got two more mice, and for those that didn't see, and those that don't care, uh, the little snake that came from Nathan, Sandy, Sand Creek is her, is her, her name, um, had a second mouse the other night, and definitely wants to be left in privacy to eat. So at bedtime is when I'm going to feed him my bedtime to a D gray to match the channel names. Oh. Sounds like Doug was trying to pull some kind of scam and they caught him, you know, legally. When you see legally, you know there's something that's going on, right? Chris John, Dr. Black says another one with two names. <laughs> with two names, Chris and John. I don't suppose anyone's asked you, and, and I definitely know it's no one like me's business, but is, are Chris and John two different people, or is Chris John you? What's the, the I can't remember the guys that are father and son. And there's two different names, but I can't remember their name. They're a really cool channel, too. Oh, I was afraid someone would ask that. And of course, Doug asked. Um, some of them went on to um, go ahead and fungus, and I got those out. It's weird how those stay intact. It's just like um, jam, hot jam. That's the consistency. I had to touch them. Jack and Dan. Yeah, thank you, Pam. Um, so, uh, hello, Igor. So, anyway, I got those out. Um, and I noticed that this actually during one night, so they really did have the timing right. Everything I read said 17 days, they hatched overnight because I thought I would see them begin to hatch. Well, they hatched and they were up in the plants and they're in the, they're in the gravels and all that. So I cut my water changes back to twice a week. And usually I do those guys once a week with most everybody else's schedule. Uh, but if I, uh, you know, pull water up in the, the siphon part of the python and then release it, you know, so that it kind of blows into the gravel, not hard, but uh, hey, big jays, um, it'll blow some of them up out of the gravel, but they quickly squirm their way back down in there. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to leave this alone. They probably will eat them all or most of them. Uh, but there are some of them alive, and uh, I, I go ahead and uh, give them some uh, spirulina brine shrimp, which I don't give the parents. Uh, they get blood worms and uh, chopped up krill, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, uh, Doug has axolotls too. Had about a hundred or so going for a few weeks, then must have had pneumonia spike. I'll stall but two four inches on now. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes in there. Whoops. Yeah, well, you need to set another tank of those, Jesse. Oh, really? 
We got Chris and this Blake and Ryan. Nice. Yeah. That would do it, wouldn't it, Doug? That would do it. Um, I haven't fed them any. I don't have any uh, any uh, live uh, baby brine, but I do have frozen brine. Um, I may give them some of that. I did give them some Daphnia now that I'm thinking about it. The first day I noticed they had hatched that day. I put some Daphnia in, so they probably ate it. They, they're spawning like once a week or even more often than that, aren't they? Well, I figured that about the little axolotls too, kind of, but really not. And I have that other pair, which I think actually are a pair. They're, I'm not seeing um, jingle bells. <laughs> I'm not seeing uh, gonads, scrotal material, all that stuff um, on either one of them, but they look just like the other two looked. One of them's wider and bigger and uh, defers to the one that's not as big and wide, so I think they're going to be a pair, which would be awesome, I guess. Um, and they're not the, uh, they're not albinos, they're, they have black eyes. I can't remember anything today. And guys, I'm still not sleeping due to health issues, but I'm too mean to try to rest during the day. I got too much to do. No, and that's what I said too, Doug. And people even said in the comments that one person said they admired that I was thinking about that. So that's why I decided with this bunch anyway to kind of let nature I have actually seven projects going right now. I'm not bragging and I'm not complaining. Well, I kind of am, but kind of both. But I actually have seven projects going right now. Um, two of them are not fish related. Um, one's the snake and one's Nelson the blue tongue skink. But uh, I'd like to get a couple of those projects done that I just couldn't see taken on. I had the opportunity to take some orphan puppies, um, 10, 11 day old puppies um, at the ark the other day. A lady kept letting her dog out after it had 10 puppies. And of course it finally got ran over and then she was squalling for help to feed the puppies. And she wants to keep two of them of course, to, to, to get ran over. Sorry, I just don't have a lot of empathy for stupidity. But there's no way. I told her I just couldn't do it. Dan's fish a lurking while a working. Yeah, I was talking, telling everybody to be sure and watch you tonight, Dan, because I know you got all those new fish to talk about some. So, Jesse, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for your questions and helping keep the stream going. Awesome friend. Thank you. I haven't shown the tub for a while, but it's doing great. Uh, the plants that I put over in the little 10 gallon with the convex and the fire mouse came out of there. So it opened up a little more. Uh, me too, Ross, thank you. Uh, what did they say? It came to pass. <laughs> but yeah, it's doing great. It actually looks a whole lot clearer. Uh, it's not as, um, didn't have nearly the amount of tannins it had in it. So I'm thinking that the fish have pulled, or the fish, the plants have pulled a lot of those tannins out. There's Miss Dharma. All right, you can come up. Are you a good girl? Are you my girl? Huh? Are you my sweetie? Oh. Oh. Need to feed your tubs. Happy you said that. Dharma. But yeah, that's what's going on. I still see lots of fry in there. I have one more of those. Uh, what were they called? Hell, hell grammets. Chevy fishes here. She knows. 
no grammets, um, which is the, oh, I'm so tired, I can't remember anything. Dobbs fly, maybe. Hey, Susan. Now, there's one of those in there, but I can't catch it. It'll even come and eat uh, frozen shrimp, <laughs> but I haven't been able to catch it. It's bigger and fast, so it's probably getting some of those. But hell, Graham, it's, yeah, I think I was close. I'm not sure. I don't remember what I said now. All the Walmart baits were at Bob's for a barbecue. Guys, you know, we had a barbecue Sunday before last, um, I guess for 4th of July or the day after 4th or something like that. But anyway, I went. It was kind of they decided at the last minute to do it. And I went uh, and really enjoyed it. I always loved being around family. Loved it. Um, and they're really out in the country. Have a beautiful new home, seven acres, beautiful mountain views, two creeks that run through their back um, yard. I mean, it's just gorgeous. But anyway, nice cookouts. Um, and everybody had a good time and left, uh, not early, but one of the first people that left and my sister wanted to go on home. So I took her home so her daughter that she lives with wouldn't have to leave to take her home. She could stay. And uh, a friend was coming by of theirs that uh, I, uh, they grew up with. See you, Rolls. Thank you. Appreciate it. Anyway, that friend now, uh, that's uh, my niece's best friend. Dad was put on a ventilator yesterday. I think I've said that in a stream or two already. And uh, he's not going to make it. He has COPD and he had some other risk factors. But uh, he lives two houses from my sister. Two houses and then his daughter was coming uh, to the niece's house, my sister's daughter's house. Uh, and I'm sure to talk about that. She was coming over. It's kind of unexpected. They're kind of like sisters or cousins or something. They all grew up together. So she's been tested and uh, came back negative. But you just don't know. It is, Pam. You just don't know. But he wouldn't wear a mask. He wouldn't wear a mask. And part of it was because, you know, he has breathing issues already. And Patients say they smother, you know, I used to have patients tell me that they smothered with their COPD or their CHF and so he wouldn't, uh, Dharma, get still girl. But yeah, he's not going to make it. The desert hole pupfish. Uh, the desert hole pupfish. That's not the uh, desert gobies, is it? The Australian ones, Chewy. Because they come from something like the desert hole or something. They're just in one area. I researched those. They're in my local fish store. Yeah, it is. And this guy is like an uncle to my nieces. I mean, you know, as I said, uh, you know, they were back and forth between houses growing up, going to high school. Yep, wouldn't wear a mask. And I'm not making any comment there, but, you know, he's one of the people that I'm sure it was really hard to wear one, you know. And he did use oxygen. But, so he knew, you know, that when he, they went on the ventilator that, that was kind of a goodbye there, you know, it's just sad. We're one of the 20 states or whatever that have spiked. No different fish. Oh, thanks, Chevy Fish. Chevy Fish knows so much. Um, somebody needs to have you on and not you, Pam. Not you, Pam. Pam and James, Fishroom Fever. Don't they? And everything I want, they want it to. Everything I have, they, they have to have it too. No, I'm teasing. I get a kick out of teasing James about that. Chevy Fish, would you do a collab with somebody? And what time is it, by the by, anybody? I assume Rod's coming on. Susan's getting ready for church. It is Wednesday. 
Well, be safe, Susan. I'm sure you guys are wearing masks and doing all that. Your state is right there with mine. It's one of the ones that have a big surge of new cases. Oh, they're uh, brackish. Yes, they are brackish water style of fish at like hot temperatures. You're talking about the uh, desert gobies, right? Right, see, Ed knows everything. Everything. James brought up this, uh, he calls it my yellow living room. And it's really not yellow, it's green. It's grass green. But I hope Lowe's has this color off the market now. I still have a little bit in the can. Painted it this color 20 years ago. It's grass green. But it does look yellow in low light like this. Are you still planning to film a second? Oh, that's right, Susan. Yeah, I remember that now. Bye-bye, Susan. Fish fan mom. What time is it? What time is it? I don't want to get over on Rob's time. He wasn't on last week, so we went over. I have time, I'd like to see if I can get somebody to come up. 35 people here, I guess. Yeah, it doesn't show the likes, it just shows the census. That's awesome, 35. I'm glad if one other person shows up. I enjoy it, no matter what. It's all good. You help out best in chance. Yeah, I've only done like, well, I've been up, up with Pam. Uh, that's not like an interview though, because Pam and I know each other and been friends a couple of years, maybe longer, but that's not like a collab or something. It's just, uh, well, you know, you know what we do, just talk. But uh, no, she's not Pam. She says right below that she helps out best in chats. See, 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 James and Pam, see. They want everything I want. They want to get everything I get. Yep. There you go. 503, which must be 603 in Illinois. No, it's not 503. Um, so it's 703 here. So actually, has Rob gone live? anyone knows that if he has I need to get off of here and get out of his time slot I love my killifish uh, and Dan is the one that got me hooked on those guys I lost one of my mail my Lagos red I think they were I got a pair of those from Lucas Spritz maybe a month or six weeks ago and just the mail came up missing. I have no idea. Can't find him, but I uh, emailed Lucas and Sarah emailed me back and said he did have one mail that he wasn't paired because he sells them in pairs. So he's going to give me a like a half price thing and the shipping's down. So uh, I think he shipped it today. The chat is rapid. You mean moving quickly or that I'm all over the place with topics? It's called flight of ideals. <laughs> if someone says something, I go off on that. It's hard to keep focus. Blue Galeris. Uh-oh, who's fighting? Who's fighting over you, Chevy Fish? So it's 703 here then. Yeah, because I started at six and it says I've been going for an hour and four minutes, five minutes now. Uh, 
as we're off down live. Oh, you meant the hour pass quickly streetwise? It does go by quickly, and all of the stuff we talked about, I really only talked about a little bit about the serums in relation to food and a little bit about the marine tank. He is live. All right, guys, let me get off here. Uh, Y'all want to do a raid over there? Let's do hashtag Dharma. It's D H A R M A. There you go, Dharma. Your name will be all over Rob's. So hashtag Dharma, D H A R M A. And I'm going to end this. Thank you, guys. Uh, thank you, mods. Thank you for the super chat. Um, super chats. And uh, thank you for showing up. Thank you for the likes. And uh, I'll see you over at Rob's in just a minute. Bye bye. Hashtag Dharma. See if I can remember that. <laughs>